afternoon everybody. So today's video that we're doing is a stick taping tutorial. Uh, so we did a two part video about two years ago on the whole stick taping process, how I tape my stick and whatnot. And in the time, the way I tape my stick and the way I go about uh, the whole setup of my stick itself has changed a lot. And uh, today I want to kind of break you guys down with all the materials, all the accessories that I use, all the tricks and tips that I use to, to craft my, my tape job, my stick the way that I like personally. Um, so I have a few uh, products here that you're gonna see on the screen. So first off, uh, tape-wise, uh, just a standard roll of thick Howie's hockey tape. It's uh, just a white roll. I'm, I'm a big fan of white tape. I'm not a really big fan of the black tape, so I just use white tape. Uh, as far as grips, we're gonna have two grips here. We have the butt end center grip. Uh, that's a goalie specific grip with a uh, larger knob and a textured surface. And then uh, also we have a black one. Uh, it's the butt ends future grip, brand new. It's actually uh, just came out recently, so uh, it's another grip we're gonna be using. We also have uh, some butt ends applicator. I just call it butt ends lube. It's essentially for uh, getting your grips to stick to your stick. Uh, and they are removable uh, once you um, get them on. And we'll talk about that a little bit more in the, in the video. And then finally we have uh, get Goalie Guru grips. Uh, they're basically grips for the paddle of the stick that uh, help a lot with um, reducing the vibrations from when the puck hits the shaft and as well as a lot more control in making stick saves. So uh, those are the products. Again, if you're interested in any of them, the links are all in the description for checking those out. Without further ado, let's start with the stick. So as far as the blade itself goes, I like more Carey Price style tape job. Uh, Carey Price or Danny Heatley, I'll just kind of tape from about the halfway point of the blade up. I do a specific cut around for the toe, get everything nice and smooth. I just find uh, whenever the pucks are kind of coming, at least for my stick, if they're coming on straight stick here, it just glides a lot more to the corners, If, and especially when I'm shooting pucks. Um, so I usually start, whenever I'm shooting the puck or I'm playing the puck, I'll start it on my heel and I'll ramp it up to my toe. So I'll get some speed going with the puck and then I'll grip to the, uh, uh, to the tape part of the stick and I can get some real elevation, get some, some torque behind the puck. So that's the reasoning behind that. And so this is the tape job that I do for that. Whenever I'm done the tape job, I'll usually just take the roll of tape itself. I'll try to rub down the tape to try to get it to, uh, to stick and be a lot more flatter. I find that helps with deflecting pucks as well and just adding an overall level of finesse to the, the end finished product of the tape job. So the next part of stick we're doing is uh, the shaft. And so in years past, I used tape and a combo of grip tape and regular tape. And I just found that grip tape just wears too easily. I mean, uh, at the start of when I was playing junior and using grip tape, I'd probably have to retape it every two or three weeks because the grip tape would just fray so much. Uh, I also did it for uh, aesthetic reasons, but uh, the button scripts, they're a little more expensive, but in, in the last video I talked about tape versus grip and the pros and cons and the price uh, trade-off between tape and grips. I would never use anything but a button script. And one of the things that I do with mine was uh, over the last year, I've used just a center grip, which is the white one here. It's a goalie specific one. Um, but I wanted different grip uh, textures and different colors because I'm a guy who likes to you know, spice it up. I like things different. And so what I've been doing is I've been cutting the knob off the center grip. So I have a goalie knob and then I've been using the, the colored ones like the Flux, Fusion, Twirl, and now the Future grip and uh, getting that uh, style of grip for the shaft itself. So what I'm about to show you here is what I call Franken grip. If you ask Rob from Butt Ends, it's a uh, ever going trend, the Franken grip itself. Um, but this is how I do it. should stick nicely in there now. Boom, that actually doesn't look half bad. So that is the Frank grip right there. Like I said, it's a little combo between the Century knob and the Fusion grip. Last year I was using the combo between the Flux and the Twirl. This year it's Fusion. Uh, when my custom pack of sticks come in next week, or uh, next month I should say, uh, I'm gonna do a combo of everything. I'm gonna have a uh, Century Fusion, Century Flux, and Century Twirl combo going on. Uh, I also put a little bit of butt ends application lube uh, on the knob or the insert itself, the plug. Um, I find like when you're putting the grips on, then the plug tends to come out a lot. And as is, it comes out a lot. So I just find, put some lube on there and uh, it stays in there quite nicely. So that is the shaft itself. Next up is the paddle. So one of the, get out of my face. Nobody cares about my face, bro. 
I love the grip on the Bauer sticks. A lot of sticks have really, really, really great grips, especially the composites nowadays. Most of the companies are phasing out the composite or the foam cores and transition the composites. Um, but one of the problems that I find with a lot of, a lot of sticks is uh, when you do a trigger grip like I do myself here, it's the vibrations. With the Goalie Guru grip, you essentially you put it in, in here, in this little insert here, and it's great. It reduces all vibrations, it feels super natural. I find it makes a night and day difference. So uh, they come with a little thing of super glue, as you see here, and we're gonna put that on here. So that's the finished product. Like I said, uh, using Howie's hockey tape on the blade, just a standard white roll. The Get Goalie Guru grip on the paddle. Uh, it seems small, but it makes a massive difference uh, in my performance. And then on the shaft, the Franken grip, as I'm calling it, the combo grip between the Butt End Century and the brand new Butt Ends Future. Again, link to all of these products will be in the description if you want to check them out. Uh, thank you again for watching the video, and uh, good day. You ever gone to the airport before? Had a flight at 5 a.m., showed up at 4.15, told you're late, they can't check you in. And then we go to check in all your hockey equipment. Can't have a bag, pads, and a stick. You ever had that happen? I just had that happen to me. That does not happen at a sideline swap. That is discrimination against goaltenders. We don't have a choice. Some of us don't have a goalie bag. If you do have a choice, go to sideline swap. Spend your hard-earned money. I'll see you next week.